Brand new Kia, only 4,000 miles on it, 2023. And, uh, oh, the mileage is 4,000 some odd miles. Brand new, as you can see, smashed in the front. This is gonna get replaced, core support, and uh, condenser just has to be moved out of the way. So, it's a cold morning, so the pressure you can see is only 55 PSI. We're gonna come out of the suction line. We don't need the liquid line open. So, vapor only. We're hooked up. Let's start the process. Turn it on. Open it up. And watch the pressure as the refrigerant removes out of the system. You'll see the low side go down as it's pulling the liquid through the expansion valve. It cannot get to the suction side. I am not pulling out the liquid because the liquid is on the liquid line going back to the expansion valve. And if I pulled out the liquid, it would drain out the receiver dryer, the bottom of the condenser, everywhere where there's a lot of oil and remove a lot of oil out of the system. So you do not want to recover. Oh, let me get it over there so you can read the pressure. There you go. Now you could read the true pressure. As it's dropping over here, this is down more because it's pulling through the suction line. This is reading only. It's not pulling out, it's closed. And so all that liquid has to travel to the expansion valve, the small line. It has to go through the metering device. It has to go through the evaporator and because the refrigerant level is dropping so fast and it's it's at a slower slower velocity the oil is traveling with the liquid refrigerant dumping into the evaporator right now and the refrigerant vapor is coming back to the section low side and it's traveling being recovered but most of the oil is all staying back in the evaporator the oil the Mount accumulator the evaporator is acting like an oil separator right now and the vapor comes back here and goes into the recovery machine and as you can see we're getting down there it's a really cold morning can't start the vehicle because of the front end collision damaged radiator and stuff like that bent back so i can't preheat the vehicle a hot air gun ain't going to do me any good it just stays there so now we're we're getting pretty down down there. Uh, we're at the point where you know there's no there's no traveling. Let me see if I can clean that out. I wish the sight glass was bigger. And instead of being black inside, they needed to make it shiny uh, silver so it re reflects light back. But there's nothing traveling across now. If I open the liquid side, I'm down below the vapor pressure. That means there's no more liquid inside the. Um, high side the liquid line side so now i can open oh we just shut off now i can open the liquid line and no liquid will come up because there is no liquid in there so i cannot remove no oil so now i could do both sides and as you can see we're rapidly pulling out of both sides and taking out the refrigerant but that's the thing do not remove refrigerant when recovering from the liquid line all right guys i'll see you